Today I'm going to take you through a guided foam roll routine specifically for runners. This is great to do pre or post run or even on a recovery day. Let's get right into the routine. So we're going to start off with a calf roll. So we're going to do one at a time. So you place one calf on top of the roller. You're just going to lift your hips and then roll back and forth. I'm going to focus on the lower part of my calf. If you're not feeling anything, then you can hook one foot over the other like this. We're going to do about 45 to 60 seconds per roll on these. If you want to shift it a little bit higher up your calf, you can just reset your position. Maybe you want to put that foot on the floor to take some pressure off. Try turning your foot in. Try turning it out. And don't shy away from those sore spots. We want to take the tension out of them, find any knots where the connective tissue layers are crossing over and maybe stuck together a bit. Like I said, if you want that more intense roll, just go for one foot over the other. Okay, let's take it to the other side. So again, I'm gonna start off with the lower part. Try turning your foot in a bit, out a bit, and then just pick whichever spot feels the most tender. want to shuffle it a little bit higher up. So really we're rolling what you call your soleus, which is this lower part, and then your calf muscle, which is this upper part. Both really important to cover. When you find a sore spot, so I've got one on the outer edge, I'm just going to stay there and work into that, opt in for this slightly easier option, taking some pressure off. So we're trying to Break the connective tissue layers apart, stop them sticking together. That can take some pressure off your joints. And we can also aid some blood flow to the area to improve recovery. Next up, we're gonna move up a little bit higher. You can do this like this, we're doing your hamstrings. However, I recommend most people have a slightly thicker fat layer on the back of their legs. So I'm gonna hook one foot over the other and I'm gonna put most of my weight or all of my weight onto that left side. So you wanna come as high up as your butt and then roll probably halfway down or slightly past halfway on your hamstrings. You can try hitting the inside edge a little bit like this. All right, let's take it to the other side. So you can go with that double roll, but if, you can, if you've got the balance to put one foot over the other and put all of your weight, just to try and work a little deeper into that muscle. I do quite like to hit that inner edge, hitting those inner hamstrings up here by switching to this single foot assisted variation, turning my toe inwards. Trying to hit the outer edge a bit by crossing over and leaning to the outside. So just finding those tender spots sticking around there. Moving on, probably to my favorite one now. We're gonna go and hit the glutes, this muscle, and your piriformis, which is a one that crosses across the top. So I'm gonna take my left foot, I'm gonna hook it over my right knee. I'm gonna drop my left knee down Take my right hand, hold onto my shoelaces. I'm gonna roll my upper outer back pocket area, if I had a back pocket, on my shorts. I'm trying to find that tender spot, and that's usually your piriformis you can feel crossing from this long bone here, your femur, up into your lower back. So you imagine if you've got a tight band that comes from the top of this bone up into your lower back, when you're running, that constant pulling on the band, pulling down on your lower back, it's not gonna be comfortable and it might cause some tension. So just freeing that up is great. And we're also hitting the glutes because you can't really not hit the glutes when you're rolling around the piriformis area. If you wanna hit the glutes a bit more, I find that actually kicking my legs straight will hit your glute max a bit more. All 
All right, let's take it onto the other side. So you're gonna hook your right foot over your left foot, drop that right knee down, take your left hand, you're gonna hold onto the shoelaces. You're gonna lean onto that upper right glute, bring all your weight onto one side. You're gonna try and find that slight sore spot that crosses around your back pocket area. Stick around there. If you find that your roller is too tough for this, then I recommend getting a firm but smoother roller, a bit like I've got here. You don't really want a soft roller because they tend to lose their shape. I'll link some in the description of this video. They will be affiliate links, but it doesn't cost you any more to use them. So if you are considering getting another roller, then why not use one of those links? Straighten the leg out if you want to hit the glute a bit and the piriformis a little bit less. All right, let's move it onto the quads now. So you're gonna come into a plank position. And we're just gonna roll back and forth on the quads, up and down. Try not to dip your lower back into an arch. So draw the belly button in, keep some glute tension. I like to hit down the inside a bit by going wide for my legs on the roller and turning the toes out. If you're just not feeling anything, then either get a firmer roller or try this out. You're gonna hook one foot over the other. Now I'm putting all my weight onto one leg. But if this is too intense, then just don't worry, carry on with that double leg version. Let's do a little bit full weight on the other side. I'm not quite going as far as my IT band. You'll see online at the moment, there's mixed opinions as to whether you should or shouldn't roll your IT band. It's, there's an argument that people think it might loosen it off in a negative way. Personally, I think it's okay too, but for the sake of not getting too much hate, and as it is inconclusive, we won't do your IT band today. Okay, we're gonna go for the adductors. So, we're gonna bring the roller this way this time. You're gonna bring your top knee up. We're gonna roll out to the sides. So, you, don't worry if you lie that opposite leg on the floor to take some pressure off, that's absolutely fine. You can roll as high up to your hip or as close to your knee as you like, just wherever it feels tight. I'm taking some weight off with my hand, my elbow, and that opposite leg. Okay, let's switch it to the other side now. So we're gonna keep this bottom leg straight and roll out horizontally across the mats down the inside. Today I can feel it a little bit more close to the knee, so I'm gonna stick around that area. But if you're feeling it up near the hip, then stay up there. Okay, finally. Now this is one I don't see done very often, but if you're a runner, this is a really important one for avoiding getting shin splints. We're gonna roll your shin muscle, your tibialis anterior muscle here. So you're gonna come onto one side like this. I'm just gonna roll. You want that fleshy part of your shin on the outside edge of your shin bone. I'm taking some weight off with this foot and my elbow and my hand. And I'm putting as much pressure as I can down. You can even hook over like we did with the calves and put all your weight through your shin. Obviously supporting yourself with your arms, but if you wanna take that other foot off, that's fine. All right, let's take it to the other side now. So we're putting that outer fleshy part of the shin and then we're gonna roll. I'm starting off taking some pressure off of this foot and these arms. But actually it's not feeling too bad on this side, so I'm gonna hook 
one over the other and roll down. You don't want to roll over any joints, so stay on the muscle. And that's it for today's routine. Let me know in the comments how you found this and where in the world are you doing this video from? Make sure you hit the thumbs up button to like the video. I'd really appreciate it if you're enjoying it, then subscribe and check out my mobilities playlist. Hopefully see you again soon for another video.